My 24 male girlfriend 29 female deleted messages to avoid answering a question? I know this probably isn't as crazy as I'm making it out to be but here's the thing. My girlfriend said something to me through text earlier about the state of our relationship that sparked concerns in my mind. I asked her a very reasonable question about her comment and she completely ignored it. I asked why she never answers any of the questions I ask her and in which she replied that she never got a text with a question in it. She even sent me a screenshot of it not being there. But. I saw it go from delivered to read. So obviously she's lying to me or I'm crazy. We both have iPhones by the way. I'm not exactly sure what to do at this point. Update. Hello everyone, thank you for your advice. In regard to what we were talking about, she made a comment about me hating her. I asked why she felt that way and if there's anything I'm doing to cause that. We had a lengthy conversation and it was mostly just her saying how awful she is and how I can do better. I managed to catch her by surprise and tell her how you can see recently deleted texts. She seemed genuinely surprised. I then asked if I could see them in which she agreed and handed me her phone after unlocking it. She said, knowing my luck it'll be in there deleted, and before I even opened the recently deleted she went to grab it from my hand. Sure as shit was it was there. Does she know how it got there? Of course not. Do I? Of course I do. I then made a few comments on all the lying and broke things off. I cannot, will not, should not tolerate liars in my life. Thanks for all the help guys. Gaslighting. Your response unnerved her and she's dashing full speed away from the subject entirely. Ask the question again? Don't play games. Just ask the question again. If the answer is important, let her know you need an answer to your question or you're leaving. Don't fuck around with women who intentionally mess with you. Be a man and have a spine and sack. I would talk to her and ask her questions to her face. Texting is the worst, no context, no inflection, no facial expressions. Thanks for the help guys, there's so many of you I don't know how to reply to all. I asked her to come over tonight. Going to confront her in person and see how that goes. She's been acting very weird for a bit now and has definitely gaslit me in the past for fun. I'm sure this relationship won't be continuing as I've already been pretty fed up with her behavior towards me which I have spoken to her about. To no surprise nothing's changed. My 29F new boyfriend 31M won't address Ed, acts like no issue. Is he delusional? I, 29F, started dating a guy, 31M, a few weeks ago who doesn't seem to notice his erectile dysfunction and it's driving me crazy. He's super horny all the time, talks about everything he wants to do to me the next time we're together and completely ignores the fact he can't get hard. We've tried to have sex probably six times and have actually had sex once and he was barely hard and lasted one minute. Every time we see each other we make out hot and heavy and he tries to shove his soft penis in me, it doesn't work. He can barely get hard enough to nut but only through oral sex, not hard enough for penetration. My problem is that he never addresses the issue and he's always talks like he's going to do all this great sex stuff, is he delusional? How can he not know there's an issue? Why would he say he's going to do all this sex penetrative stuff if he can't get hard? It's so confusing to me. We haven't been dating long, I really like him and don't want to hurt his feelings but I don't understand why he would talk like that. It's possible he's either in denial or trying to fake it until he makes it, both are unacceptable. As someone that has struggled with Ed, it's way better to be upfront about it and tackle it head on. That's not sustainable for you or him. Bring this up and let him face this reality. Try to be considerate with your words as it can be difficult for guys to hear and accept. You want to work towards a solution. If not, it's time to move on. Most likely a porn addict. Just talk to him about it, if he's defensive and weird then there's nothing you can do and you should leave. Maybe he can try medication or SMTH. Either way something has to change. It's possible he could be really nervous. Although having that happen six times is a lot. More than anything, I just wanted to add another comment to this post because the comments are unhinged and I want more. Check it he's a porn addict. You could encourage him to see a drive. My husband, 37, went through Ed. Turns out one of the ingredients in his hair pill was the cause. He told me, I don't give a fuck about my hair. I just want to be able to fuck my wife. It happens to a lot of guys. I, 
20M. Got bought an expensive gift by girlfriend. 20F. Not sure I need it. What should I say? Hey. My girlfriend bought a PS5 for me. It's pretty expensive as she is a student and bought it from the money she saved up. I feel extremely bad about it. Not only I have a hard time accepting expensive gifts, but honestly I have an expensive PC which makes the PS5 kind of redundant not sure how much I'm gonna use it. And I just feel like the money she paid for it is not worth it considering how much I'm gonna actually use it. I feel bad telling her that, and do not want to come of as ungrateful I just want her not to waste her money on me too much. Especially when I don't really need it which just makes me feel bad. Can I tell her that? Or is that not cool? And if so, how can I see it without sounding like a douche? Update. After reading everything, and checking if there's anything I would want to play in a PS5 that I can't on my computer. I found none. I decided to tell her I would prefer to return it but I'm very grateful. And she got really disappointed, and is now giving me some kind of light cold shoulder, which honestly I think it's a bit unfair. But maybe I need to think about her more than myself right now. There are two paths that you can take depending on how you think she'll react. Either you can have a conversation about how much you appreciate her kindness and generosity, but that this isn't a gift that you'll get much use out of and you'd rather spend that money on a shared experience with her if you guys can return the PS5. Alternatively, you can use this as an opportunity to discover the lively world of console gaming. Sort of up to you honestly. You can just tell her that, it's very valid and it helps with communication in a relationship. She might be a bit hurt about it, which is normal, but try to explain your point as best as possible. Tell her although you appreciate it very much you already have one and you prefer she return it and save her money. Thank her profusely and take show her how much you appreciate her thoughtfulness in her. If you aren't sure what you could do with it maybe you could play games with her on it? Such as couch co-op games like it takes two. Have you thought about the fact that maybe she wants to play with you? Or watch you play? PC gaming is very isolating to a partner. Headphones on, small screen, and not comfortable seating nearby. She probably just wants to spend more time with you. Regardless if you return it or not, think about that moving forward. Sounds like you're already being really thoughtful and considerate about the whole thing. Let her know how grateful you are for the gift, that it was kind and thoughtful. But it's an expensive gift and you already have a gaming PC, so you are concerned it will be underused. Ask how she would feel about returning it and using that money to have a fun shared experience instead. Dinner at a very nice restaurant, couples massage, going somewhere special? Remember to emphasize at the end that you care about her and that what she did was an unexpected, sweet surprise. Something disgusting happened with the guy, M19. I'm, F19. Scene, what do I do? For some backstory, I, F19, started developing feelings for one of my best friends, M19, a few months ago. He's a great guy, very protective and kind and very similar to me in lots of ways. About five days ago I told him how I feel and we decided to give things a go but without any labels and taking things very very slow especially sexual stuff as I have some bad experiences and wanted to make sure I was fully fully ready before doing anything with him. During these five days we've hung out pretty much constantly and it's been great, it feels very natural and I feel really safe and reassured by him. But here's where stuff goes wrong. Last night while out with some course mates we decided to stop hiding what we had going on and it was great, we both felt very relieved. Being a little tipsy and caught up in the happiness, we started making out and stuff got a bit more intense which led to me giving him a BJ. However, as soon as I started I realized there were bits coming off in my mouth and I could feel more and more chunks of it the more I went on. At first I just tried to rationalize it in my mind as being nothing but then after he came I went to the bathroom, spat out onto my hands everything in my mouth and it was covered in lumps of what was clearly months and months of dick cheese build up. Like literally orange or gray, green chunks that looked like big tonsil stones. I immediately started gagging and spitting out everything and he asked from outside the bathroom what was wrong. I came out and asked what was all over his dick and he sort of laughed embarrassingly and said, oh yeah to be honest I don't really wash my dick. And I was like what the fuck and he said, it doesn't matter. So I said yes it absolutely does. He then tried to hug me so I pushed him away and I started gagging more and having a panic attack. I get them quite often. 
He seemed really confused on why I was upset and kept asking me to talk to him until I asked him to just go downstairs which he did but continued to text me apologizing for doing things before we were ready, to which I said that wasn't the problem. I then texted his flatmate who is a mutual best friend of ours and asked him to come up because I was having a panic attack. He came up and asked what had happened but I said I couldn't tell because it was this guy's personal business but he pushed me a bit more saying I should tell him so I ended up just blurting it out which was wrong I admit. However, he immediately starts defending this guy and saying it really can't be that bad and that some guys don't wash their dick properly every time but I was saying it wasn't just a missed shower, it had clearly been building up for months. He wasn't really understanding how bad it was and was just telling me that I am happy with this guy and because it's so early days I shouldn't let this put me off. He then says this guy is freaking out downstairs and wants to talk to me so I let him come up and our mutual friend leaves. I was so disgusted I kept just asking him why he would let me put that in my mouth or even my hands for that matter and he just kept saying stuff like, no I know I'm sorry it was a real dick move, or yeah I'm sorry I acted like a massive twat, or I realize this is so disgusting I'm really sorry. Eventually I just started packing up all my things and he started just saying, fuck, over and over again and kind of started crying but the lights were off so I couldn't really see and he just kept saying, fuck I'm sorry OMG I'm sorry this is disgusting I am sorry I'm such a twat. I told him I just needed to leave so he sent money for an Uber because it was 4am at this point and I just ran straight out the flat and waited outside till my Uber arrived. When I got back to my place he texted me asking if we could talk in person tomorrow and that he didn't know it was in that bad of a condition or he wouldn't have let me do anything. I said I couldn't face seeing him in person because the whole thing was so weird and gross that I had the major ick. I asked him how he let it get that bad and he just said he guessed he just didn't know how to wash his dick properly but my feeling is that if you start seeing someone who you make out with a lot and things are going well then you would absolutely make sure you were clean down there so how did he not even realize? He also said that he would fix the problem and that the cleanliness of that area is something he needs to look into. Now I am genuinely so torn on what to do because this is a guy I really like who I get along with amazingly and who really understands what I need from a partner and provides that for me willingly. He's also one of my best friends and while I don't want this to affect that I'm worried that I just can't look at him the same. Part of me feels like maybe it wouldn't be so bad to continue as we are but without being at all sexual, at least for a while because I've really liked what we've had so far. The other part of me feels like I don't know if I can see him the same way again and this has icked me out so much. Please please help me what do I do in this situation. Edit he is also my course mate in a class of 20 people who are all very close and hang out regularly. We are also acting students and will most likely need to act together when we go back to uni in two weeks. I cannot believe what I just read right now. Who the fuck doesn't wash their dick? Bro he would not be saying that, if he went down on you and you had cheese or a yeast infection. That's so gross. For me, that'd be a deal breaker. This is one of the craziest, nastiest, sorry, stories I've ever read on this fucking app. He's that old and doesn't know how to wash his dick? Or he did know and let you go down on him? All of these are major red flags and you should absolutely not be intimate with this person ever again. I'm really sorry this happened to you but that is not normal at all. I almost vomited reading this. I'm so sorry. He's a ass. Either he learns how to clean it and does it every day or you break up lol. That's so disgusting. Ew. Yikes. I'm still puking. I'm concerned that a 19 year old doesn't know to wash his dick every day. And neither does his flatmate. Sounds like some grubby boys. It depends how you want to handle this. If you like him, you can move on but put a caveat of no oral sex unless he's cleaned beforehand. Or say this was far too much in terms of disgusting practically but also, he knew about it and still let you go down on him. Super bad call from him. I'm gonna go tell my husband I appreciate him cleaning his dick every day. I feel sick. Go dentist and get a professional clean yuggy. Sending prayers.